Hey everyone, Ramel here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to install the latest version of Plex Media Server on your Synology NOS. I'm going to be doing it on my DS918 Plus, but you should be able to do this on any of the newer ones that support Plex. If you try and install it directly from your Synology apps, uh, you're going to notice that it's a few versions behind, so you're going to want to install it manually. Um, to do that, you just go to the link that I'll have below and choose Synology and the correct version. Um, it, it'll tell you which version your NOS supports, so just download the correct one. For me, it was that 64-bit. Um, and after it's downloaded, you're going to want to go to the Package Center, hit Manual Install, and you're going to just look for that SPK that you downloaded, and you're going to hit Next and it's gonna give you some of the information about the app that you're installing and it should be okay, so just hit next and you're gonna hit apply and it's gonna begin the installation after that. And once this is done installing, the Plex Media server is gonna be installed on your Synology and you can verify that by just checking to see that it's installed in Package Center. Um, you'll only have the option to stop it. You can go and click the little app drawer icon on the top left, and you should be able to click the app there and it'll launch a new tab. And this is the UI for the actual Plex um, server. You can sign in with an account if you already have one. I actually don't know why my my laptop just dimmed over here. I honestly thought the brightness went down, but looking at the screen capture, the brightness just went down in general. So I'm not entirely too sure what happened there, but I was able to log in with an account I previously had, and it's just gonna give you a brief overview of how Plex works and it'll ask you to sign up. Um, I'm probably going to do the monthly plan just so I can stream from my devices without any problems. If you don't have a monthly plan or you purchase the $7 one-time in-app purchase, um, you can only watch a minute of streaming. So that's kind of unfortunate. But to set up a library, you just choose the library type that you have and then you can choose um, the server. It's gonna be in volumes, um, but I didn't have the movies folder set up yet, so I'm just gonna do that um, real quickly in the Synology DSM. Um, and to do that, you just go to the file station and you hit create at the top there. I'm gonna create a new shared folder and give it the name movies and this is where I'm going to store all of the movies that I have. I'm not going to use any encryption um, and just going to give access to guest and to Plex. I'm actually not sure if this should be read only or if it's read and write but I'm just going to give it um, read and write just in case. And once this folder is set up, then you should be able to start dragging the movies that you have into this folder and you should see it show up in your Plex library. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, it was pretty easy to get the Plex Media Server up and running. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, that's going to be it for me this week. I'm out. Peace.